to the Family and Life Conference 2022. This series of unconditionally pro-life videos on demand is brought to you by Live Life in partnership with Live Christ, Share Christ Mission. My name is Kevin Ramandaban. I am a father, I am a trainer, I am a business owner, but most of all, I am a pro-lifer. I've been married for seven years and I can say that it has been one of the highlights of my life. No joke. As a devout Catholic, I believe that marriage is a commitment between a man, a woman, and God. It is when they consecrate each other to God and promise to live their whole lives to bring each other to heaven together with the family that they will form. Marriage forms a family out of love. As married Catholics, we have to live our lives in such a way as to be a sign of God's radical love for our spouses and for our families. It is not a simple calling, but we pledge to go through the hard and good times together, to the work of growing together towards each other and to God as we age. However, the society today is in contrast with what the ideal Catholic marriage should be. Let me share with you the three most common wrong notions that the society is telling us today. Number one, being married is all about happiness and resembles your wedding day. Eh, wrong. No, a wedding is a joyful beginning and a day of celebration with family alone. On the other hand, marriage is much more than that. Some great attributes of marriage are intimacy, vulnerability, commitment, patience, which require more than just fun and friendship. A Catholic ideal of marriage is to lead each other to the holy. Number two, getting married completes you. Eh, wrong once again. People who think that they'll be complete when they find their better half will realize that the person they marry can never complete them. We must realize that our spouses will only complement us or be suitable for us according to God's design. In Genesis 2 verse 18, the Lord God said it is not good for man to be alone. I will make him a helper suitable to him. Our spouses will never be the one who complete us. Only God and only God completes us. Number three, marriage succeeds with no effort. Whoever thought of this must be crazy. <laughs> For us to better understand this, we have to realize that the vocation of marriage is the fulfillment of the calling to continue the mission of Christ. And Christ's mission is never easy. And how are married couples to do this mission? We call this radical love. Jesus laid down his life and we are called to do the same. St. Paul told us in Ephesians 5 to submit to one another. Husbands are to love their wives as Christ loved the church. Wives are to submit to their husbands like the church submits to Christ. See? Two-way. Catholic marriage means laying down one's life for another. And that requires a lot of effort. Now that we have discussed the three most common wrong notions about marriage, what then should we evangelize about the beauty of sacramental marriage? St. Augustine wrote three fundamental values or goods of marriage. Remember these three. The first is offspring. It is the potential fruitfulness of marriage. In CCC 2366, it says, a child does not come from outside as something added on to the mutual love of the spouses, but springs from the very heart of the mutual giving as its fruit and fulfillment. 
our role as parents is to be the principal and first educators of our children. In this sense, the fundamental task of marriage and family is to be at the service of life. The second is exclusive fidelity of the marital relationship. One man, one woman. Many people today are suspicious of an exclusive relationship. And yet everyone wants to be someone very special in someone else's eyes. Hence, in marriage, there is the commitment to a faithful and exclusive love. St. Augustine says that if you do not wish to belong to someone else, then you consign yourself to perpetual isolation and loneliness. Hashtag sad life. The third is the permanence of the relationship or the unbreakable one. Many people today are suspicious of binding themselves forever and ever and ever. Amen. And nevertheless, that is what love aspires for. I'll love you forever. In CCC 1646, it says that love seeks to be definitive. It cannot be an arrangement until further notice. When there is acceptance of a permanent bond of love, it is for keeps. That you belong to another and that another belongs to you. You know that it will require sacrifices, but sacrifices are worth it, believe me. Marriage is a gift from God. Marriage forms a family out of love. Sadly, if you and I do not do something about it, if you let it be attacked, your gift can be ruined. Be committed to your calling so you can love one another and remain faithful to each other and to God. Be inspired by the Holy Family to protect life, save families, and preserve God's original intent for marriage. Let radical love be at the heart of every family.